As many of you will know, I recently introduced CMOS into my diet and for me, the effects have been mostly positive. I'm a happier person for it. Lots more energy, especially in the mornings. I feel it's important to be aware of rare but possible negative side effects of taking CMOS before you actually try it because a lot of the time on social media especially, we're shown the positives of things, whatever they may be, but we're not shown or told about much of the negatives. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a short rundown of some of the possible side effects of CMOS that I've either researched online or that friends and family have told me about. It's not to say that any of these things will happen to you. Most people are fine taking CMOS, but it's a good idea to be aware of them. I also have to make you aware that I'm not a doctor. I'm just somebody who tried CMOS, had a great experience with it, and decided to share my findings with you. So don't take my advice as health advice. And please, please, please don't take my advice over a doctor's advice. So let's get down to it. Here are some possible side effects of CMOS that you need to be aware of. Firstly is the gas. CMOS can make you feel gassy and bloated. When I first tried it, it was one of the first things I noticed. Luckily, I was working from home when I first tried CMOS and I didn't have to go into an office. So I was alone with my farts. <laughs> but do bear this in mind. If you're about to try CMOS, it's likely that at the start, your body will be making an adjustment to it and you may get more gassy. But once my body got used to it, the gassiness went away completely. Maybe within about two weeks, the gassiness stopped. Now when I take CMOS, I don't feel any of that whatsoever. Number two is the full feeling. CMOS has fiber, so it can leave you feeling quite full for quite a while, depending on how much of it you actually take. High fiber foods also tend to kill your appetite a bit as well. So I guess it could be seen as a good thing if you're trying to cut back on calories, but the full feeling and lack of appetite might need you to adjust your regular routine. So I included it in my list. If the full feeling is a problem for you, maybe take it at nighttime as your last meal. So by the time you wake up, it won't be such a problem. Number three is constipation. I haven't experienced any of this myself, but some people have reported constipation as a result of taking CMOS and some have said it made their stool yellow. I assume that this would have a lot to do with how much you actually take and other stuff you have in your diet but also how much water you drink too. If you experience this yourself obviously stop taking it or lower the dose as you may be ingesting too much. Number four is nausea. Some people say they feel nausea after taking CMOS and feel sick to the stomach. Some people report even vomiting or feeling like they need to vomit after taking CMOS. The only thing this would tell me is that maybe your body just doesn't like it and is rejecting it. I would stop taking it right away. It could even be that the batch you bought wasn't prepared in the best way. I was actually recently sent a video of a place, I don't know what country it was in. They were bagging up CMOS leaves and at one point they paused the video and you could see little bugs crawling around on the table where they were preparing the CMOS. This is why it's so important to not just make sure you're buying from a good and trusted source, but also to make sure that you're cleaning your leaves properly. That's if you're making it from scratch yourself. If you think you may have bought a bad batch, then consider making your own CMOS gel. I have a video showing you how to make CMOS gel for yourself, including how to clean it properly in the description. And somewhere above my head right now, you'll see a link to an ebook which will give you guidance on what to look out for when you're buying CMOS. And also there's a frequently updated list on there to help you find reputable sellers who aren't selling fake or badly prepared low quality CMOS. So do check that out for yourself. If you feel nausea after taking CMOS powder or CMOS gummy bears, then I would suggest trying the gel form instead. The gel is generally fresher than the tablet form or gummies. The problem is with tablets and gummies, they don't always tell you when the CMOS was harvested, how it was harvested, and it may have been sat on a shelf in a warehouse for God knows how long. So I'd suggest trying the gel instead. Number five is headaches. I've heard some people mention a throbbing feeling in their head after taking CMOS. The person who mentioned the headaches to me mixes the CMOS in their coffee. I don't know if that has anything to do with their headaches, but I feel it's worth mentioning. I personally don't drink coffee, so I can't say conclusively if CMOS and coffee taken together has some kind of reaction. Coffee aside, others have mentioned a head throbbing feeling after taking CMOS, but the feeling subsided after a week or so. So it could go back to my point earlier about your body getting used to CMOS. My recommendation is always gonna be that if you feel an actual headache after taking CMOS, then stop taking it right away and consider taking less or not taking it at all if the headaches persist. Most of the side effects in this video I haven't personally experienced and the one that I did experience went away once my body got used to the CMOS. In conclusion, I think a major factor in people experiencing the side effects of CMOS could be down to the dosage you actually take. I personally take one dessert spoon of gel in my morning smoothie, maybe three or four times a week and I'm fine. I can't speak for what dosages the people who told 
told me of these side effects we're taking, I can only really speak for myself. The problem with CMOS is that it isn't really a standardized amount. The potency can vary wildly between different sellers because of the way CMOS is made. It's a traditional medicine rather than something you can pick up in the chemist. So each jar you buy or make for yourself will probably have a different potency. I do suggest running it by your doctor before you try any of this if you do have any doubts in your mind. Also, if you do buy online, try taking a small amount first to see if your body reacts negatively in any way. Most people are fine taking CMOS, but like I said, as long as you buy it from a reputable seller and it's of high quality, you can't really go wrong. If you need guidance, my ebook is always there for you. Now, have you experienced any of the side effects mentioned? Also, what's your experience with CMOS been like thus far? Let me know in the comments below. With that being said, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.